Let's create this cool clone echo effect in the Ventures Wolf. Now, this video was also inspired by Sondak Phone because he has some cool After Effects tutorial, but I wanted to create this in the Ventures Wolf. As always, add a text plus right here into your timeline and then open this infusion and then style these however you want. In this case, we're gonna use the same styling from the intro. Now, here on this template, we're gonna go to the layout section, we're gonna right click on center and then we're gonna go and click on path. Right away, if it doesn't let you draw the path, what you can do is click outside the node, click it again, and now you can see these options right here. So go here to this pen or, and then have the click append tool. Or you can also click shift C sometimes and that will open it. Now draw your path however you want. After you have your path drawn, go to the modifier section and we're going to double click on the displacement so that we have these. Now we can right click on this displacement and we're going to modify this with the anim curves. So that way, if we're using the anim curves, it will create a loop that you can use continuously. Okay, there are two ways of doing this. If you are on studio, what you can do is press Ctrl and Spacebar and add the motion trails effect. And then here on the trail length, we're going to set this to 5. And then under the advanced options, we're going to go to input alpha and then use in compositing. And that way we're going to have that cool clone effect. If you are on the free version, we're going to press Ctrl Spacebar and add a duplicate node. On this duplicate node, we're going to set the copies to 10 and we're going to set the time offset to negative 1. We're going to go merge under. Now if we press play, we'll have that clone effect. Now if you don't want the echoes to disappear, this is what you have to do. First, on the template section, instead of using the anim curves, we're going to go to the displacement right here and we're going to double click. And we're going to go to frame zero. We're going to set this to zero. And then at frame 119, in this case, at the end, we're going to set this to one. That's going to do a complete spin. So we'll have our loop again. Now open the spline tool right here. And we're going to set this to be a loop, even though it's not showing on our composition. Then we're going to press control space over again and add a time stretcher. We're going to go to the time stretcher. On frame zero, we're gonna create a keyframe here on the time stretcher and set these to be 119. Then here at frame 119 at the end, we're gonna set these to be double that, times two. On this time stretcher, we also have to select these and loop these. And then if we press play, nothing happens. Why is that? Well, because we have to go up here to Fusion or to the edit page and then set the timing to at least double what is right now so let's do 10 seconds now it's gonna start and do that complete round now the thing with these is that if you make your text composition shorter these will break the time stretcher now so you have a couple of options either put whatever clip here on top and make that the next cut or you can right click on these and turn into a compound clip and then cut the compound clip right here so that you're just using that section right here of your text and then you'll get rid of it, right? So those are the workarounds for that for now. So that is today's video. If you want to find the files for this project, check out swavi.com and come back tomorrow for more.